Hey, hello and welcome to the second part of the Exchange Manager app tutorial. In this video, you will see how to connect your Node application to your uh, MySQL backend. So here, uh, we'll start by creating a table in MySQL. So for that, I'm using MySQL Workbench. I'll just log into the Workbench thing by entering the password. Now, once you log into the work Workbench, you can see something called like this. Uh, you can right click here to create a create schema which should give you a database. So here I already have a database for Exchange Manager, so I'm not doing that. I'll go to the Exchange Manager database, click on the tables and click on Create Table. That helps me create a new table. I'll create a user table here. Add a primary key. Keep the primary key as ID. And add uh, one more column. Username. Okay, not null. Add one more column called password. And click on apply. Click on apply. So you should see something like this. So here I'm creating like three fields, ID, username and password. I click on apply and that should execute the statement. I should be having one table called users here. As you can see it's empty. So well, for the time being, uh, I'll add some data here. ID1, username, JY3DC, password, pass. And I'll save it. Okay, so now uh, Let's go to our node application. So we will need something called MySQL. Uh, we will need something called a connector to connect a node to MySQL. So what I'll do here is I'll install that thing first. So npm install uh, MySQL minus my save. The MySQL here is not the MySQL server client. It's a MySQL connector here. So once that is installed, you can import uh, MySQL inside your application require mysql using this mysql connector you can create a connection i'll call it connection uh, mysql.create create connection inside you need to specify a couple of things like uh, host host is local host user user is root Password is root. Database is expense manager. Now let's create one more endpoint here. App dot get slash all users. RQR, yes. Now, using the connection that we created above, you should be able to query it. Now, let's have a look. Connection dot connection dot connect. Once you made the connection, you can query the data from the table. So, I'll write in the query inside. Select star from user, and we have a callback function. It is a return zero uh, results. See inside console dot log uh, query response is results. Okay, and once everything is done, connection dot end. So this thing it makes sure that all the queries that are being done here it gets executed the connection to the MySQL server is ended. So that should be good. Let's try running the node app. Okay, it's running. I'll go to localhost 3000 here. If it shows hello world, it means it's running. So I'll just query slash all users. As you can see, uh, the data that is returned from the query is here. It's returned as a raw data packet here. 
uh, you can see that it's still running it means uh, it has it's running because uh, the endpoint is hasn't turned anything the connection has been est established uh, fine we have queried the db we are able to connect a uh, node app to the mysql db now let's see how to return the data to return to the data we can use something called res.json you can simply return the results there if i query it again you can see let's reload this thing once reloaded you can see that it's being logged here and it that the that particular row data packets has been returned as, as json to this endpoint that's how you connect uh, your node.js app to mysql server i hope you find this video useful do let me know your thoughts in the comments below thanks for watching